Dangers of Static Electricity by kscience.com A spark is when electrons jump across a gap between a charged object and the earth. So for example, here we have a person who's reaching for a metal door handle to open the door and we've all been in this position where all of a sudden we feel a spark. This happens because a negative charge builds up on your body. This is due to static electricity and this person now has an excess charge. This has happened because of friction between the person's jumper and the rest of their clothes and their body. It's important to note, the person touches a metal handle which is a conductor and this has less charge compared to the person. So the electrons jump across a gap from the person, which is the charged object, to the door, which has less charge. So the electrons jump across a gap from the charged object where the person feels a spark to the earth. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This line represents the ground, and here I'm drawing a cloud. We're now going to understand how lightning occurs. These clouds contain particles of water or ice, and air currents cause friction between moving particles of water or ice. This causes static electricity to build up in the clouds. The blue dashes represent the negatively charged part of the clouds and the red crosses represents the positively charged areas of the clouds. Relative to the negatively charged area of the cloud, the ground is now positively charged. So the ground is positively charged relative to the clouds. Because of this, there is now a huge potential difference between the clouds and the ground. So when a lot of charged particles build up in the clouds, lightning happens. Lightning is when charged particles travel from the clouds to earth. Lightning is dangerous and has the potential to damage homes. To prevent this damage, tall buildings have lightning conductors at the top of the building. These are thick metal rods. They're called lightning conductors. And they earth tall buildings. Lightning rods are thick metal rods which allow the lightning to discharge safely through them and to flow through a metal rod straight through the building and into the ground. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. When aircraft are flying through the air, friction between the plane and air particles causes the plane to become charged. So the aircraft becomes charged due to friction. When refueling, a charged plane is potentially very dangerous. Sparks can ignite the fuel as the aircraft is being refueled. So before refueling starts, a bonding line from the aircraft is connected to earth, so any electrons will flow into the earth. The bonding line is very important because it means the aircraft is earthed. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. When refueling a vehicle, there's the risk an explosion can happen because of a buildup of static electricity. So here is the fuel tank and here is the outside of the vehicle, such as a plane or car. But in this example, it's a car. So this is the fuel tank in a vehicle. And here is the person who is refueling the vehicle. So the fuel flows into the fuel tank. 
and static charge can build up as the fuel flows due to friction as the fuel rubs against the walls of the tube and the fuel tank. So static charge can build up as the fuel flows. Now, if there's a spark, this poses the risk of an explosion. So the vehicle can explode. Now, this is very dangerous. To prevent an explosion, chemicals can be added to the fuel. So chemicals are added and this makes the fuel more conductive. So the fuel is more conductive when chemicals are added, so less static charge builds up. And when humans touch their metal cars or the pump and they're standing on the ground, this means they are earthed. And finally, cars are earthed at petrol stations because car tires contain a type of carbon which conducts electricity. So by being in contact with the ground, the car is earthed. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.